What up, what up? This your boy Plan B85, man. I'm back. I know it's been a while, but I am here now. I shouldn't have left you without a dope video to watch, but I'm here now. I'm an extra busy. For those that do know me, for those that don't know me, I'm a music producer and also a recording engineer. Um, I have quite a few years of experience in both, but I just recently added mastering engineer to my resume. Hold, simmer down, simmer down, simmer down. It's, a, it's okay, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. We gonna get to it, we gonna get to it. And I'm really excited. And I wanna tell you guys how I did it. Let's get to it. If I ever get out, I'm gonna live a different kind of life. I'm gonna start this video off with, you never really know what you're capable of until you jump. There are so many amazing things on the other side of fear. I'm sure you hear that a lot, but I'm telling you, I really didn't know that I was capable of mastering until I actually got in the chair. Although I've been producing and mixing for quite a long time now, this is my very first time mastering a project of this magnitude. I started this whole thing by writing down a few goals, wrote down some personal goals for myself, some things that I wanted to attain in X amount of time. And in order to get something, you have to sacrifice something. That's just normally how the universe works. So if you wanna acquire something, the universe wants to know exactly what do you plan to give in order to receive this. My services is pretty much what I'm good at. Um, I offer my services. My services would be music production, audio engineering, video editing, digital content creation, music licensing, so on and so forth. Can't remember when I wrote this down, but it was earlier this month. After I wrote down the goals that I wanted, my wife immediately texted me about a mastering job. When they when you say mastering job, ain't no telling what the project was, was, was for or whatever. But when she said Sony BMG, I was like, whoa, this is this is crazy. I ended up getting the files. It was all orchestra music. And they really didn't give me too much instruction. It was just master these to your liking, send them back. We're going to run it through the composer. We're going to run it through the film company. And if they like it, we're going to send you more jobs. So cool. Now your boy's a little bit nervous. Mastering is really the very, very last step of any music project. If your project is not mastered, it's not it's not clean at all. That's where you get into the polishing of the sound and enhancing the sound, getting the most out of it that you possibly can. So I did have to brush up on my skills a little bit. So I was watching a lot of YouTube tutorials, you know, reading a lot of different articles. Um, I listened to the project about twice before I actually got um, down to start twisting knobs and things like that. I was able to do it right here on my beautiful Raven in Logic. I told them two weeks, but I think it took me about a week. And um, I sent them the first round and yeah, I didn't hear from anybody for a week. And this is where I got nervous. <laughs> I'm thinking they probably gave the mastering job to somebody else or it's like, they, ah oh man, it's like, you ain't know what you was doing, no way, whatever. <laughs> and they got back to me and said that the first round of masters were fantastic <sighs> oh my god fam i i almost flipped and they approved all of my tracks in a very very short time i've already been contacted to do an additional mastering for another film that's supposed to be released in september so i say all this to say well, a lot of great things have happened for me outside of my comfort zone I recorded, mixed, and mastered hip hop projects, R&B projects, and things like that, but I've never done a project like this. So uh, for me to just be able to jump into it and even feel, you know, not even feel comfortable, but be very confident in my abilities and what I'm able to do, it, it helped me grow. It was really a testament to what I could do um, as an engineer. Um, and it also, uh, uh, it, it made me realize <laughs> how much I really love doing what I do um and learning new things you know and being challenged um you know on the audio side of things and uh there's so many great opportunities on the other side of fear and i'm encouraging not only musicians to do this but anybody who's who's trying to reach a certain goal write it down write it down on a piece of paper and be specific about what you want 
and how you're going to get it. Sometimes you really, a lot of us don't really have a plan on how we want to attain certain things, but if you write it down and you fix it in your mind that this is what you want to do, the universe will kind of start putting things in place for you. But you have to not only pay very close attention, you have to listen, listen to every conversation. Don't talk so much, just listen and certain things will start to come to you. Subscribe to my YouTube. Thank you guys for watching. Plan B85, follow me on Instagram. All of my handles and everything will be in the uh, description below. But, uh, and make sure you see Papillon, which will be in theaters very, very soon. Peace.